uh, you know, three, three hours. This is 2000, okay? To get people to sit in front of a television and watch the same show for three hours back then was impossible. So you can imagine 13 years later how ridiculous it is that there's a wrestling show on Monday nights for three hours. I could literally feel the bullseye on my back. Brett concussion. Brett's got a concussion. He can't work the pay-per-view. Really the first I had heard about it. Jeff Jarrett never gets hurt. That's how good Jeff is. And Jill was literally calling me behind Jeff's back. I'm gonna be like totally, totally honest here. All of a sudden, everybody's a wrestler. No, you're, you're not a wrestler. It's fake. You're not a wrestler. You're a performer. This will be my last wrestling interview. It was in TNA. You are dealing with so many young guys that are such marks for themselves that you literally want to vomit in a bag. And I used to sit there and tell these guys till I was blue in the face, blue in the face, blue in the face. Do you not understand? You're so wrapped up in, in trying to remember this fake match, blue in the face, that, ha that has no psychology in it whatsoever. It's high spot after 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 high spot. Blue in the face after high spot. Go watch a Chief J Strongbow match and tell me how many high spots there were. They're so concentrated on remembering every move, the character goes out the window. Four star matches don't draw money. I, I really don't care, okay? There are guys on that TNA roster right now that get a new contract and get signed year after year after year after year that should have been gone five years ago. Hulk Hogan! Hulk Hogan! Hulk Hogan! Give me somebody that I'm not going to change the channel on. Just, just give me somebody that's entertaining. Tell me why I can't put the belt on Tank Abbott. What, what, tell me, the guy's supposed to be a legitimate UFC fighter. Are, are you kidding me? Blue in the face and entertain the people. I, I was embarrassed watching Hulk Hogan and watching Ric Flair. Nobody was saying get Scott Steiner out of there. I can guarantee that because Scott would have killed people. It's an absolute joke. I was a mark for Jim Duggan in the WWE. Two years ago, I have to hear about interviews of Jim Duggan ripping me and cutting promos on me when I literally was putting him on television, not, not, not putting him in a position where he had to do any more harm to his body. I did everything but drop to my knees and kiss his feet. Every time I saw Flair, I would make such a fuss over him. The, the guy's calling me every name in the book in his book. I, are you an idiot? I mean, are you an absolute moron? Think about that. Are you a freaking moron? You're putting me with the guy who I had, I had a part in losing his job. <clears throat> Half of the guys on the WCW roster sucked. Okay, honestly, I'm not going to rely on these guys that I know can't do it. The first time David Arquette's name comes up is when? What do you mean the first time? Blue in the face. It's probably by page. It accomplished exactly what I wanted. I, right then and there, I think I killed a business friend. Yeah, because I was surprised of how many people actually believed that wrestling was real. Yes, that surprised the crap out of me that there were that many imbeciles walking this planet and why why in the wrestling world why would the title not change that many times there weren't dirt sheets exposing the business every week people believed it once the internet was born okay that was dead not when not when you're reading a, 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 a dirt sheet every week when you're going on the internet every day and you're reading about what's going on behind the scenes and you're reading about oh so and so said this it, 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 the business completely changed I was having problems with Eric I was having problems with Goldberg Hogan always hated me I was just I was so, so miserable I could have cared less if somebody would have hit the locker room with a nuclear bomb
that that was from me. I mean, that came from me. And again, that's ratings. I mean, I'm sorry, Terry Funk and Eric Fisher are going to hard call. People would watch that tomorrow. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm sorry, they would. Never in my wildest, most demented, twisted David Arquette champion mind would I go to this man and say, Hey, I got this idea. I'm going to shave your head. And I was literally like, You got to be freaking kidding me. I tried talking Ric Flair out of it. <laughs> in his book, that was my idea. It was all my idea. And, 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 and I, I let that mark shave my head. I'm, I was so sick of that crap in that world. And I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to no longer be a part of it because things don't work that way out here in the real world. I will kill myself. I will die before I make Ric Flair look bad. What, what feedback did you get from Rick afterwards, anyway? I got a concussion in that match. Let, let him sell the company. I, I, I'm not putting my body on the line or anything anymore. The next day, Eric called me and he's criticizing me after he agreed to it, okay? I'll never forget, remember, taking that phone. I took the phone, I, you know, and I flinged it across the room because, like, I, I had enough of this crap. Like, it was known I had a concussion, everybody knew I had a concussion, and there was probably three occasions where cheap shots were taken directly at my head. I have never seen anything so violent mm -hmm. in my freaking life. Jeff, I'm sorry, he doesn't want to do the job for you, we have to put him over. Nothing, 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 nothing draws a higher rating than a wedding. That's why these guys that want to have five-star matches and they go, it just, it's hysterical to me. The TNA's ratings suck. It, it's that disrespect that really pisses me off. I'd beat Booker T. If I beat Booker T, I could beat anybody. Whatever the consequences are, I could care less. You know, I, w I was never there for the crazy movie. I was always there for the, just the over-the-top freaking movie. And so having a cork up there, but do you know how many years Bobby Heenan went on accusing me of getting him fired? The same thing with Madden. It was, do you know how many years this guy rags on me and cuts pro? I w w once I came back and Madden was on the air, I was w I was one of his biggest supporters. Well, well yeah, because pe people want to make that my legacy. Pe people want to make my legacy that I failed. Because you know, at the end of the day, you know, the people with the biggest mouths and the and, and the biggest keyboard and the you know the pen with the most ink, at the end of the day. I changed their beloved business. How dare me? Okay, rather than look at it at a rational point of view as, okay, he changed our beloved business and how many people were watching and what kind of exposure did we get and, and, and how many countries was it in and how many millions of people were watching on Monday night? No, it's... I changed the beloved business. Well, they kind of changed it first. Uh, yeah, yeah, true. By drawing the curtain. Right, absolutely so true.